Well, hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. Okay, so I bought some catfish yesterday. I want to make a catfish stew in a rice cooker. Yes, so this is another review on my rice cooker. And it is a aroma rice cooker. And so this is going to be an experiment that we're going to try uh, because I understand that you can make stews with this and I want to give it a try. Also, I'm going to make uh, cornbread with corn. I cut corn off the cob and I'm going to put the corn inside the cornbread and bake it. Mmm, let's give that a try all on this same video. Okay, stay tuned. Thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe. Let's do it. Okay, okay so this is the aroma spicy fish rice cooker with cornbread. Okay, look at that. The one I uh -huh. have, you can make white How about rice, that? brown rice. Okay, it's steamed. Let me taste. Uh, it, it was a little steam tray that came with it. It has a delay uh, timer, so like if you want to set it for a certain time, so it'll start on its own. And um, I think overall it's a great, it's a great, great cooker. I paid twenty nine dollars for it at Walmart. Okay, all right. And so I want to introduce you to the things that I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to start out with a half of everything because I'm not sure how much it will actually fill up to and I don't want to overfill it. So I have here cut up uh, one cup of diced carrots. We'll see how much I use of that. One cup of diced onions. We'll see how much I use of that. One cup of mushrooms. half a cup of diced tomatoes, one cup of white potatoes, one cup of diced catfish. I bought a bag of catfish at Walmart yesterday for $6.98 and when I finished packaging it up I could get uh, I could get four packages of catfish uh, for my future meals. So this is one of the meals. So I can actually cook catfish three more different meals. Okay. This is garlic paste. I have some chicken broth in powdered form. And some crushed red peppers. Yeah, we're going to make it spicy. Okay, so let's get started on our Catfish stew. Spicy catfish stew. Okay. So I'm going to start off with putting uh, carrots in. Oh, okay. I can see I can use a whole cup. Cup of carrots. A cup of onions. The mushrooms I want to wait for a little later because you don't want to overcook the mushrooms. This is a cup of white potatoes cut up. And this is the size that I use for the white potatoes. That cube it like that. Okay, so the fish I'm going to leave to last. I'm going to add the stew now. Half a cup tomato stew. Okay, now I'm going to add some water. One cup. Two cups of water so far. Now I want to add the chicken base.
chicken base. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, and looks like I got enough for three tablespoons and some crumbs. So we're going to call that three tablespoons. Okay, I got a heaping teaspoon of garlic paste. Now I gotta add my red crushed peppers. If you don't like your food hot, leave out the red crushed peppers. So this is one heaping tablespoon of red crushed peppers. That was red crushed peppers. Okay. Now I'm going to add a package of No salt sassoon. One package. And then I want to add some granulated onion. Sorry, I need to keep that on. You can put much seasoning or little seasoning as you like. Okay, and I want some chives. Just sprinkle what you like with the herbs. Okay, so now we're going to mix this up. Let me show you this. So you can see what it looks like. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to push the on button, which is right down on the bottom in the middle, right here. Make sure you can see. Right here. Okay, and then I'm going to cook the, put the button that says white rice. Now, I'm going to shut this so it can get started. And if the, this actually shuts off, you can stop it by hitting the on button again and restarting the white rice button because it's thinking it's cooking rice, but we're actually cooking this stew. Okay? Alright, so while we have that going, I think I want to sit that up top here. Let me get a plate. I think I want to sit it right up here. So I can keep an eye on it. with you. Okay, and now I'm going to come right back and we're going to start making the cornbread that has corn inside. Okay, one second. 
Okay. Well, our fish stew is in the aroma uh, cooking. It actually hasn't started cooking. It's just warming up. Anytime you see the line on the aroma machine going around and around and around, it's uh, heating up. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start on our cornbread. So I have a, a box of corn muffin mix by Jiffy. Okay, I put the box in. It is 8.5 ounces Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Okay. Now I have a can of coconut milk. Coconut milk. So we're going to pour some of this in. So I'm going to start with, uh, this can is 13.53 fluid ounces. Why don't I get a measure for, for you to see. Okay, I have a half cup measure, so I'm going to pour a half a cup in first. Now I have a cup of corn that I cut off the cob. If you don't have uh, a cob of corn, you can just use frozen corn. Just uh, thaw it out in the microwave on one minute, okay, or canned corn. Oops. One cup of corn. Okay, and now I'm going to start mixing this. I can definitely see I need more cream of coconut. So I'm putting another half of uh, cream of coconut. Not cream of coconut. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. So now this is a total of one cup of coconut milk. Which is about half the can. So you know, coconut milk has a little like sweet taste to it. That's what we're looking like so far. Alright, now I'm going to put some olive oil in it. Okay, so the way I measure my olive oil is I count one, two, three at a slower pace. So like this. One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. I'm going to mix that in. Okay, now I have my baking pan that I'm going to be using. I'm going to turn the oven on and I'm going to turn it on to 375. Uh, oh, I'll go 350. I'm going to do 350 because I want to make sure the corn that I added to it, uh, that flavor gets into the cornbread mix. 
So now you're going to take some olive oil and you're going to put some in your pan. You can see I put quite a bit. I got a little drippings down there. Okay. So now we're going to just take a paper towel and you're going to put it in the oil and you're going to wipe around all the sides and the bottom. So it's all coated like that. Okay, now we're going to pour the cornbread in the pan with the corn that's cut off the cob inside of it. Oh boy, that sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, so that's what we're looking like. I'm going to bake this in the oven on 350 degrees until it turns brown. When it turns brown, I want you to take a butter knife stick in it to make sure it's done. If the butter knife comes out clean, it's done. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to put that in the oven. Okay, so I can see that the rice cooker is steam is coming out right here from the top. So let's take a look and see what's going on. I brought it down so that you can see. Okay, it is boiling. I can feel that the white potatoes are still hard. So it's just getting started. And it's been cooking for about, I'd say, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, so we're going to let that cook some more. Okay, and it's getting a little thick. That's good. So we'll leave that back up. I'm going to put it back up here. And let that continue cooking. All right, I wanted to show you that progress. We'll be back. Okay, so let's check on our fish stew. I want to see if the potatoes is getting soft. Not quite, it's halfway. Okay, now I want to add the mushrooms. I got them sitting over here. These are the mushrooms I showed you. We're going to add them. And I'm adding another cup of water because some of the water has boiled out. Okay, I'm going to give the mushrooms five minutes to get started. And then I want to add the fish. And I think I want to add some ramen noodles. Yes, why not? Okay, all right. Give this five minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so now that the mushrooms have been cooking for about maybe five to seven minutes, you can definitely tell because they have shrunk in size. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, so now I want to add 
the cup of catfish. If you don't like catfish, you can do any type of white fish that you like. Okay, just cut it up into small pieces. We're going to add that. Okay, now I have a package of cream, creamy chicken flavored ramen noodles. You can add any type of chicken noodle flavor you want to add or shrimp flavor you want to add. Now I'm not going to put the package that comes in it in. I'm just going to put the noodles for now until I taste it. So here's my package, my noodles. Here's the package that I'm not putting in right this second. I want to wait and taste at the end. Okay, I'm just going to break this in half once and then again. I'm going to put that in. Now you want to push it down in the broth so I can start to cook. Okay, now I'm going to shut this back. I'm going to let that start for about maybe five minutes and then I'll take a look at it. We'll be back. Okay, let's see guys. Oh, it looks like our ramen noodles have softened up. Oh, definitely. It has also thickened up the stew. The fish looks done. Okay, so I'm going to give you the word of the day, and then I'm going to cut this off, and um, we're going to check on our corn baked cornbread with corn inside of it. How about that, huh? Okay, let me give you the word of the day. Okay, the word of the day is be creative with your food in terms of stretching a meal. So you notice how I cut up all the vegetables and um, I uh, cut up a cup of catfish. And so I made a, st a, a stew, right? And so I seen that I needed a little more um, to fill up the pot so that I can feed a family of four. So I've added a bag of ramen noodles cheap 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 meal so let me just add it up and come back and tell you how much this meal costs meanwhile i'm going to unplug the ramen uh, i'm going to unplug un, unplug i can't talk the aroma rice cooker okay because it's done okay i'm unplugging it now Okay, it's unplugged. Now I'm going to add it up and then I'm going to check on the cornbread to see if it's done. One second. Okay, I did the math, guys. The catfish came in a bag um, at Walmart for $6.95 frozen. So if I divide, I got four packages out of that that I can make four meals with. So each package was $1.75. For the sake of this video, the catfish was $1.75. The stewed tomatoes that I used a half a cup out of a can was uh, 50 cents. Uh, I used one medium onion, that was 50 cents. I used a cup of mushrooms out of a package that was a dollar. I used one package of ramen noodles and that's 40 cents one white potato that was 30 cents 
And then we're going to add, we, we have, we're having the cornbread with uh, corn that I cut off the cob inside the cornbread baked. And so the cornbread uh, mix was 150 uh, and one head of corn was 25 cent. They were on sale for, for a dollar. So the total meal cost us six dollars and twenty cent for our spicy catfish stew in the aroma rice cooker. How about that? How huh? six dollars and twenty cent? We're gonna feed four easily. Okay. All right. So let me um, stop. I'm gonna plate it up and show you, and I'm gonna taste. I'll be right back. Now that's the best word of the day. Okay, here we go. It is hot. Oh, hot. Let me taste the cornbread. This is the cornbread that has uh, corn inside of it. Wow. Remember we made it with the coconut milk. Mm. So good guys. I'm going to go and enjoy this. You make yours and let me know how it came out. You're going to love it. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.